uh, Tibetans inside Tibet and outside Tibet. Uh, very uh, delighted at the appointment of uh, Undersecretary uh, Uzra Zeya as the Special Coordinator for Tibet. Um, uh, coming less than one year after the assumption of power of President Biden. Biden. And uh, I would also like to thank the President of the United States, Joe Biden, and the Secretary of State, Anthony Blinken, for the appointment. And uh, we really look forward to uh, working with the Special Coordinator for Tibet uh, in her new capacity. Uh, I have earlier uh, worked with uh, Sarah Sewell uh, during the uh, Obama administration. Uh, but uh, during the um, Trump administration, the uh, as Assistant Secretary uh, Dresden was appointed uh, at the uh, fag end of the tenure of President Trump. But we are really happy that uh, uh, this this is coming one year with within within one year of the appointment uh, of the uh, inauguration of President uh, Biden. Um, if you look at the background of uh, Uzra Zia, uh, her parents are from Bihar, and she was born in U.S., and she has been a career diplomat all her life, uh, uh, except for a brief period when she also started the Peace Building Institute in the United States. So we are very, very aware of the commitment that she has uh, for the defense of human rights and freedom all around the world. Uh, therefore. Uh, we have uh, shared, shared values uh, between the Tibetans and the United States, and the United States has played a very, very important role uh, politically to support the Tibetan uh, Sino-Tibet conflict, uh, uh, to resolve the Sino-Tibet conflict. Um, the Indian government, uh, of course, uh, is one of our uh, main uh, benefactors who have helped us a lot in during our early days uh, in, the, in exile as well as even now. So we owe our existence and the continuity of our struggle to the Indian government and politically more so to the United States government who gives us not only political support but also uh, humanitarian support. <coughs> that is why uh, uh, I call for this press conference today. Uh, Arishun 그래서 아리나리아 치시 중지시에 디 런칭기 모드 보지다 중지 슈바디 런진 슈베기 모스르치 두시니 레 에니 안드 세크리티 디다 중지 내림 소르치 든데 도치 지다 소르치 두시어레 앤 하고도 단다 중순 레로그 내림 간야 고샤나야 디 개천부 슈시기요 그래서 중순 레로 디 레시 개천부 슈지 차디기어레 天津的什么呀？你讲那样都，你都忙不干了呀？两个人去去一个各个中国的上山，啊，对，安德森给出来，他那中央联络可能过来的，安德两个全部是几个月前的，对，所以他的国家情况已经做的，啊，李先生，
Copia to Jutungulia, Chibuna, and Tenene, Yansia said to Chibuna, and he gave you young ass to what some name, and he called him Chigita, to his old education, which was in Bassini, and he already to his own Nalolia, ten tambo, and she went to Zeng and Donanze, or do Chibet Juni, Dakanda, Amrigalia, Chidon, who gave you a good view to one each any, Mazutewa, Pemisi, Yawchunyori, Hagor to Purichik Don, Tenare, Tenzutolia. ตุชินจิตงกุเจกุจุกุดุเนเชเชนึงอันซุเพดุมิเซติดุบะซุตุบะชุงยอเรติดุซัมบะเกรกเกรกกราเอ่อกชานาเชตาตันตาติเทงต
ဒီကြီးတော့ဒီကြီးတော့ဒီကြီးတော့ဒီကြီးတော့ဒီကြီးတော့ဒီကြီးတော့ဒီကြီးတော့ဒီကြီးတော့ဒီကြီးတော့
to see how U.S. can lead other like-minded countries because this has been the policy of the government, U.S. government for a long time. And uh, w w since there was no special coordinator for a long period of time during the uh, President Trump's presidency, uh, we suffered a bit in our efforts to join uh, together with the United States. But now that uh, they have appointed at an early stage, um, uh, we'll be really looking forward to that. But aside from the Sino-Tibet dialogue, which is the main responsibility of the CTA and also the mandate of the uh, State Department according to the Act of the 2002 and 2020 Tibetan Policy and Support Act, um, um, there, there, are, there will be many other political initiatives uh, within the Congress, within the State Department, and internationally. So there will be several segregations of what we need to do at different levels, which uh, I won't be talking about now because we haven't met personally, uh, and we'll have to underline and delineate all these areas where we need to focus and how we need to move forward. So apart from that, of course, uh, the, the responsibility of the city is also to look after the welfare of the Tibetans in diaspora. Um, and for that, uh, aside from the support that we receive from the Indian government, uh, the United States is the largest supporter, uh, programmatic supporter for Tibet, and that will continue, as you can see from the appropriations of this year. Um, you can see that uh, the, the concern for, for the situation inside Tibet uh, is very much there because the budget has been increased from, uh, of course, after the reconciliation of the House and the Senate version of the uh, appropriations, we will come to know exactly what is there. But according to the uh, version that is released by the Senate already, uh, there, has, there is an increase of 5 million for Tibetans inside Tibet, 1 million for Tibetans outside Tibet. And uh, aside from the TSR 3 million, there is also a 3 million extra allocation uh, this year. So financially, uh, the support from the Congress, uh, because finan financial matters, uh, budgetary matters are always Congress uh, who decides how much to give to whom. So those, those support in terms of preservation and promotion of our culture, religion, language, uh, and Tibet's environment, all those are included in the programs that are being implemented inside Tibet and programs that are uh, supported outside uh, Tibet in the exiled diaspora. So there'll be, uh, in if we talk about different areas where we need to work on, there'll be many more, a lot more to come. Uh, so there, ha there will be a division, two divisions, political and programmatic support. Shema Yue. Bonjour,ma-t-il,tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-tu-
呃，这边保险是保险，这边保险是保险，这边保险是保险，这边保险是保险，这边保险是保险，这边保险是保险，这边保险是保险，这边保险是保险，这边保险是保险，这边保险是保险，这边保险是保险，这边保险是保险，这